Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN and Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Crazy because I like waiting for y'all to put on my chapstick. So thank you for being here to help me moisturize my dry ass lips. Oh, that feels so good. Mmm, that feels so good. I appreciate your presence. Thank you so much for helping me with my lips. I'm going to do <laughs> two more looks with the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. One look I'm going to do is a recreation of sorts from Chris Love's Lux. And the other look is going to be a recreation of a look from Patty Alonzo. And I'm looking at my nose and so I apologize for that. We're going to do one eye at a time. We're going to do um, Chris's look over here. And I'm going to alter it because she used um, one of the Astro shades um, after she finished her look. And I'm not doing that. My eyes are still really just irritated and itchy from... <laughs> The last couple days of using uh, these shadows I just realized I forgot to do my brows and I'm going to smooth out maybe I'll just do my brows last right, I'm gonna speed through my brows after I finish smoothing out this primer I think I'm gonna do my brows last because this primer is tacky and before when I've used it I went on to do something else and when I blinked my lids were sticking like this part was sticking down here and I'm like what is wrong with my lids and I'm like oh shoot it's that primer Fenty primer is a tacky primer yes it is so we're going to go in with I had the notes over here but then I have this over here <laughs> I'm also going to do my lid color first and then do the transition color I'm going to go in with bronze lace, this color here. She used her finger, but I'm going to use a brush. So I'm going to take Entrapment, this shade here in the outer corner. And also, I just realized she used Entrapment as her transition shade. So we're just going to keep taking that over into the crease. I did not put any additional product on this brush. I'm also going to take Entrapment underneath my lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with bronze blaze also on my lower lash line. So that eye is done. Uh, what else she did was she took Astro Lunar Gold with her finger and she placed it on the lid. I'm not going to do that. So this is an easy two shadow, one look. Easy, done, everyday, neutral, basic. All right, so we're going to switch over. I'm going to do my brows first. I'm going to speed that up, and then we're going to switch over and do the other eye with another look. Everyday, easy, neutral, simple brows. Nothing fancy, just like me. All right, we're going to prime this eye. Same eyeshadow primer. I feel like I'm talking loud. I'm going to take aubergine on the extreme aubergine, excuse me, on the outer corner and slightly into the crease. Guilty pleasure on the inner corner of the lid. I'm going to turn a brush and use the tip of it and also put that shade right here. Bronze blaze on the center of the lid. I just realized I was mixing up the looks I was doing. 
I'm looking at my notes. And this is a look I did from her the other day. So what do I do? <laughs> I'm trying to see if the colors are the same so I can kind of still finagle it into this other look. And so I'm going to skip some of this because I'm pondering and looking at my notes. Okay, these colors are completely different. Like none of them are the same from one look to the other. And so I'm going to go over top of these shadows with the shadows of the look that I was supposed to be doing. We'll see how it comes out. <laughs> so we're going to take <laughs> Entrapment, this shade here, on the inner and outer corner of the lid. Disobedient on the inner and outer corner of the lid. With no additional product on the brush, I'm just going to sweep this under here. And as you see, there was still a lot of pigment in this brush. Astral Lunar Gold on the center of the lid. The one I didn't want to use on this eye. She used her finger, I'm gonna use the brush. She put it on the center of her lid and also she put it on her inner corner. I'm scared. I've been having not a good time with um, these astral shades. What I'm gonna do, oh gosh. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of primer, put on the center of my lid. And we're going to go back in with that shade, Astro Lunar Gold. This is in my eyelashes. And since we did that, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye to lighten up the look, I believe. And also just to show that you can easily change a look by just adding a shimmer or a glitter on top. Astro Lunar Gold. And it does look pretty. Uh, that additional primer did help and so now you have a completely different look well not completely but has a little pizzazz back to this eye this is actually it for this look I feel like I have a well not feel like look like I have a black eye I'm going to take entrapment this shade here and use that for my transition shade I just have like too much blank space up here for my liking. I do not like this. <laughs> that still looks like a black eye. I'm going to take extreme aubergine and very lightly just put that here in this area. And then I'm going to take Disobedient, this middle shade, same brush, very lightly also in this area. I like it a little bit better. <sighs> Granted, I mixed two different looks. Extreme Aubergine was not in the look that I started out trying to do. And then I put other colors on top of it. Extreme Aubergine is a very intense color. And as you see, even with putting other colors on top and blending it out, that color is like, I'm here to stay. 
So what you going to do with that? That's what it's saying to me. I'm going to take this obedient. <laughs> What's throwing me off is how dark this corner is. And so why am I still trying to tone it down? I don't know. What I'm going to do. I got glitter in my eye. What I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm really trying, y'all. I'm going to take a little bit more primer, and I'm going to take that Astro Lunar Gold and put that over here. Because then maybe, just maybe, I will like this look without it being so dark in this corner. Because this is not supposed to be, I don't think, a smoky look. And that don't even look smoky to me. I don't even know what this is. So, Astro Lunar Gold... I'm going to tap that over here. I'm still not liking this look at all. And it's my fault for mixing up the looks that I was doing. And then instead of wiping it off, because I would have had to like wash my entire face. And then start over. And even doing this eye over. Which this one I really like. I like that one. All right, I need a clean blending brush. This one isn't clean. I'm just annoyed right now at myself. But this is the brush I used earlier for the crease colors. I'm not even going to ask what y'all think because I don't even like this. <laughs> Astro Lunar Gold on the inner part of the lid more glitter in my eye and on my face I have glitter like here I have glitter down here I like that a little bit better all right on a scale of one to ten zero being completely busted and ten being the best eye look ever which I know is not that what would you rate this eye me personally I would rate this a three. What would you rate it? And be honest, my feelings are not easily hurt. And I already know it looks jacked up. So I, I'm just curious of what you think this would be. Zero to ten. Zero the worst ever. Ten the best ever. I think this is like a three. And I only say that because I've seen worse. So I'm going to speed through or just cut out putting on <laughs> eyeliner and mascara. And then um, I'll come back and do a lip. I'm not going to put mascara on. This eye is tearing very badly and it's itching very badly. So as soon as this video is done, I'm going to go take this off and double cleanse my face. So I'm wiping off chapstick. That you so lovingly were here to watch me put on. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, lip liner. I used this the other day. It smells like a crayon. It's not pleasant. Like, it smells like a regular crayon. Like, if you open a, a box of crayons, that is what this smells like. So, you're going to put this all over and fill in my lips as well. Love the color. Love how smooth it is. Love that it's retractable. It smells like a waxy crayon. That I don't like. My eye is tearing. It is becoming difficult to see. I'm going to take Fenty Gloss Balm as usual. This one is hot chocolate. I really like this look. This gloss balm over that lip pencil. I am going to try it with another, actually I don't have one, any other gloss bombs open, so it'll, you'll be seeing this one a lot. So this is the look minus mascara, let me know what you think. This side I really do like, thank you Crystal of Lux. This one, whew, my error. <laughs> Meant to do one look, started out doing another one, and then tried to still just place colors on top of it for the look that I intended to do, and... I think it looks busted. Anyway, rate this eye. I'm rating it a three.
If you think it's a 0 0.1, that's fine. <laughs> but let me know like what you really think of this eye, like seriously. Because I know that we are our worst critics at times. So it might not be as bad as I think it is. So I'm just curious of what you think. And so thanks for being here and you will see me in the next video.